Hello, welcome to the 2020 Clarity Clinic Annual Banquet. Things are a little different this year. We're used to seeing you in person down at the Grand River Center, but of course, due to the coronavirus and social distancing, it's important that we do this online. Before we begin our program, we would ask that Pastor Dennis Schmidt of Dubuque Community Church to open us in prayer. Please join with me today as we go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the blessings you have already bestowed on Clarity Clinic and all our community. Thank you, Jesus, that because of your blessing, this building and property that was once previously owned to bring death to unborn children has now been transformed into a place which now brings life to unborn children and their parents. We realize that we are in difficult times with many churches partially shut down and some people out of work. I think of the Old Testament leader Nehemiah who saw the walls of Jerusalem broken down and decided in spite of the opposition that it was time to do a great work and build the walls for the protection of God's people. Just as Nehemiah could not do all the work himself, God, you put it into the hearts of other people to unite around and support the God-given vision that you gave Nehemiah to accomplish your work. The sacrificial work that these supporters accomplished then protected their homes and their children for many generations. So I pray your blessing on Clarity Clinic and our faith community for the great work they are undertaking this day, which will protect the lives of the unborn for many generations. Amen. Hey everybody, I'm so glad and encouraged that you joined us tonight at our banquet. And I wanna share with you that this year has been a tough year for all of us. So many families in our community have suffered, but we're grateful that through this pandemic, we have become stronger as a team. The Clarity Clinic pregnancy team has become stronger because we've been innovative and we've been encouraged to try new ways of connecting with our clients. If you're watching today and you've never heard of Clarity Clinic, we are a 501c3 pregnancy center located in Dubuque, Iowa, right there in the Midwest, and we're serving women in the tri-state area of Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa. And we love every minute of it because any day that we have the opportunity to pour into someone's life is a happy day, it's a successful day. We are there to transform their fear into confidence in a crisis pregnancy and to help them to realize that they have a support system in our area. Clarity Clinic serves an hour radius of Dubuque. We go into the school districts, nine school districts, 22 schools, and this year we had to be innovated to create a program that could go online. And so our education team has been very active and busy preparing to be able to record our presentations, put lesson plans together, handouts and activities that kids can do at home. But we're grateful for this because we are having greater opportunity to reach right into their household. Clarity Clinic not only offers prevention before we see girls in our center, but we also are providing support after the pregnancy. For instance, we had to shut down in March and April to provide our services. However, I'm so proud of the fact that we were still able to support over 700 clients this year just with our First Steps program. First Steps is a parent education program and it's an earn while you learn program. So when clients come in and sign up for this program, they're able to earn baby essentials. So during COVID, we had to get creative. We were innovative in providing mobile intakes for all of our forms. We were able to require uh, new forms of telehealth, which we were able to say, 
If you're able to see this on your phone, we will live stream our parent education program with you. Our Bright Course partnership from Arizona has given us the ability to provide this because we're able to send the assignment for their parent education class, live stream it, let them text an assignment back to us and submit it, and by doing so, they earn points. This year, we were able to get our whole entire inventory completely barcoded. And let me tell you, that was a task. We took all the items in our boutique that the girls normally would earn, and we had them barcoded and started a new software database to keep track of everything. Why did we do this? Well, last year, we happened to give out over 26,000 baby items. That's a lot. But even during the pandemic this year with being shut down for two and a half months, we were still able to do just under 8,000 baby items. That's incredible. Clients were able to call us or text us to pick up their points that they earned to be able to spend them on baby essentials. When you think about it, 700, over 700 clients receiving support in our, from our little pregnancy center is incredible. Many of our things that we receive have all been donated from, from our donors like you. During the pandemic, we were unable to take in clothing or anything that could be dangerous for our clients, but we did provide diapers, baby wipes, desitin creams, and formula if they needed it. I want you to listen to a story of a client that we served who came because she did a Google search and looked under abortions and found us popping up and that gave her the ability to come to our center and because she called and she was able to talk to our advocate team and get a free ultrasound she chose life. I was 16 weeks pregnant and I had no idea and then so I felt you know 16 weeks there's only a certain time frame that you can do these things and I had to make my decision right away and there was hormones pumping and I was super emotional. <laughs> and conflicted on feelings. But in that moment, I felt like I had nobody. I've had, everything went away from me. There was, I have no one, I'm alone. It felt like the end of the world. And now thinking that that's not true. It was definitely nice, especially you guys got me in here so fast. I think the same day <laughs> I came in and I was able to sit and talk with somebody and they gave me the facts and helped me decide that I would take care of a baby even if I had to do it on my own because I wasn't going to be on my own because you guys even after birth are still there. My first impression was how nice everybody was and welcoming it seems here I and mean, right when you walk in the door they're just talking to you, ask you about your day, they're all in super good moods. It's nice especially in situations like how I was that day because I was a mess. <laughs> I would describe it as life-changing and it was, just, it was just good to be able to get your feelings out and have somebody tell you like, no, no, you're not crazy for feeling that way. It doesn't make you a bad person. But why? Why are you feeling that way? And here's what we can do. It doesn't mean you have to go through with anything. It's just there are options, there are resources and you aren't alone. You can call any time that you're feeling overwhelmed, which you do feel overwhelmed with a baby. They have classes that help you learn different techniques and ways to help cope with. Like once you hit teething stages and your baby's crying all the time, or if you have a colicky baby, <laughs> like it's not just you. And the Clarity Clinic helps you know that you're not the only person that has those feelings. and helps you learn how to raise your child. And for a while there, I was coming here and I had to bring all three, or all two of my children while I was super pregnant. And you guys are very accepting of that, of having the kids, my children are crazy. <laughs> and they run around and they get into everything. And that even though I didn't have someone to watch my children to come to the classes, I could still come because they can just come with me. I think one of my biggest things was I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to take care of all of them. I wasn't going to be able to handle it. It was going to be too much. And I truly don't think my Miss Mia would be here right now if I wouldn't have made that call. 
I would recommend the Clarity Clinic even to families who don't need any of the free stuff because I think everyone n needs help sometimes. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much family you have. I feel like everyone could deserve help sometimes. So like many of the pregnancy centers across the nation, almost 1,200 of us, we were all affected by the pandemic. We had to shut down for our medical team because we didn't have the adequate ventilation required to clean the air. But I'm so grateful for a donor who was giving us the funds to get a brand new ultrasound machine, a brand new hygienic machine called a Trophon that hygienically cleans our transducer and our probe for our center when we do ultrasounds, raising the bar of excellence for our medical team. During that training in May, we had someone sign up as a model to be scanned as part of our training. Lo and behold, she really didn't want to be pregnant. But when she seen that heartbeat on the screen, a life was saved, just like that. That heartbeat during an ultrasound is the loudest voice that mom and that dad will hear. We are so grateful for that gift that was given. In fact, there's a plaque in that room that is in memory of his wife who died, but the funds that he gave will continue on for generations to save many lives. It's a beautiful gift when you can help someone else realize what they're holding in their arms is a gift, a treasure, and a potential for something very great. I love saving lives. My team loves saving lives. This year, we became stronger. We became more innovative in what we do and how we do it, more strategic about how we do things. The mobile intake forms that are able to be electronically sent to our clients and submitted back to us protects them from the pandemic. They're not in our actual clinic as long as they used to be protecting them and our team. We are about to take on a project that many of you may not have already heard about. It's called the Tree of Life Education Center, and it will be a 12,000 square foot expansion onto the building that we currently exist in. Our clinic sits on a lot just under two acres in the middle of the city of Dubuque. We can cut grass and have a wonderful lawn but I say, let's do something for the community and for Eastern Iowa and the tri-state area. And so we have broken ground, we have put the foundation in, and we're about to start framing up this beautiful building that will have so much potential of supporting families for generations to come. We will have a program called Celebrate Recovery. Local leadership will offer that program to support families that have gone through losses, or drug abuse or divorce, just different scenarios. Our parents in our community are faced with this pandemic and how they might serve their teens to raise them in a right way. Think about that. Who is doing that? Schools are limiting the time kids are in there. Churches only have limited time. We will have these two huge, large group classrooms. And in those places, we will be able to social distance, live stream through an organization called AXIS. AXIS provides support to families. It's like a mentorship program to talk about conversations that affect the culture of teens and topics of things that they come in contact with. We also are gonna offer a couples ministry through Focus on the Family and much, much more. So many resources in our community have partnered with us. And as part of that, we will utilize them as spotlight speakers and live stream it if we need to for the pandemic, or we will have them come in and literally be in that space, giving us that opportunity to hear what they do in the community. I can't even tell you all the amazing things that we have planned to do in that space. But I know one thing, we will impact every single family that steps foot in that door. Because if you think about your family tree and how many people 
your family has touched in a lifetime. Imagine how many families in our community and the surrounding area we will touch. Another point that I'd like to say is our center wants to help other pregnancy centers in the Midwest do more. So we are gonna put together a training center for pregnancy centers so that we can all come together collectively and make a greater impact in our community. And together, collectively, we will be stronger for the issues of life and standing to support families. When you think of it, it's like Proverbs 13, 12 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when a dream is fulfilled, it is a tree of life. We will instill hope in many families that will nourish and support them for years and generations to come. Thank you so much for your time and, and attention to this um, event tonight. I appreciate your time and hope that you will get engaged with our center and our team. Thank you. It's my honor to welcome Mr. Rollin Warren, the president of CareNet, the largest national affiliate for pregnancy centers in the U.S. Hello, Rollin Warren here. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you today. But if the last few months have taught us anything, it's that with God's help, no physical distance can stop us from serving his kingdom and serving others in Jesus' name. Amen? On that note, I am so proud of your center for everything it's done to bring Jesus' compassion and hope to your community. As a CareNet center, you are not just pro-life, you are also pro-abundant life and part of the pro-abundant life movement. You're not just saving lives of the unborn, you're also sharing the gospel and building strong, God-honoring families. You're bringing abundant life to your community. You know, a lot of folks have asked me, what inspired CareNet's pro-abundant life vision? It seems so new. But what I've always said is that it's not new. It's actually pretty old. In fact, the pro-abundant life vision can be found in the first chapter of the first book of the New Testament, and then again in the last chapter of that same book. In the first chapter of Matthew's Gospel account, we see the story of Christ's birth. When Mary learns of her unplanned pregnancy from her perspective, God sent an angel to her to assure her to have no fear and to announce that she is carrying the Christ child. She, of course, chooses life. But the story doesn't end there because God also sends an angel to Joseph to tell him that he is to be a husband to Mary and a father to Jesus. God called on Joseph to prevent Mary's unplanned pregnancy from becoming a crisis pregnancy. This story serves to teach us God's design for family, a mother and father united in marriage, loving their child, loving each other, and loving God. And this is the first pillar of the pro-abundant life vision. 
Then in the last chapter of Matthew, we get the second pillar, discipleship. Jesus tells his followers to go and make disciples of all nations. Again, what is God teaching us here? That without him, we can't be transformed. Indeed, the world can't be transformed. Transformation is everything, and it can't happen without God's people reaching out with God's power to serve others. And that is the key. Because your center is part of this pro-abundant life movement, your work has moved beyond transactional. It's transformational. You aren't just helping women and men choose life for their unborn children, but abundant life for their families. You aren't just engaged in transactions with your clients. You are introducing them to the transformational power of the gospel. And I am truly blessed to have you, your center, your staff, and board, and volunteers, and your supporters, and your network of church partners on board with us in this kingdom building work. Amen? But I would be remiss not to point out how COVID-19 has affected our nation in so many ways, including how pregnancy centers serve women and men in their communities. But Clarity Clinic, along with so many of CareNet's 1,100 affiliated pregnancy centers, has been a beacon of light in your community. How? While the culture has told us to hoard and isolate, Clarity has done things God's way. They've traded hoarding for sharing and isolation for connection and found creative ways to continue to serve your community in the midst of the pandemic. For example, Clarity Clinic added telehealth services to their arsenal so that they could continue to support those in need. They've also added live streaming of their educational programs to engage with clients as much as possible during the pandemic. They're also working to significantly expand their operations with their Tree of Life Education Center to offer more support to even more clients and their families. In short, Clarity Clinic continues to press forward by offering abundant life support to families in the community. I am so proud of what they're doing. On that note, I'm delighted to report that I will be able to be with you in person October 14th in 2021 for next year's banquet. I look forward to celebrating with you the new things that Clarity Clinic has in store that will surely bless your community. And I can't wait to see the new Tree of Life Education Center. Folks, I can't emphasize enough that Clarity Clinic is a vital part of your community and they need your support to carry out all these kingdom building, God honoring initiatives in your community. So I'm going to turn things over to Dennis who will show you how you can support Clarity Clinic. May God bless you daily as you serve him faithfully. Thank you, Rollin. We sure appreciate those words and we're sure looking forward to have you be our guest speaker next year you know, ladies and gentlemen, the banquet is our biggest fundraiser of the year. 65 to 70% of our budget is raised in this one night. And so tonight is a very crucial night for us moving forward. You feel a little bit uneasy because we're out of the ordinary here. When you have 450 people in a room, you just can feel the move of God and people stepping up to want to help. Well, now it's all online this year. So we got to believe that the Lord will move on you the same way. We did take a hit with our baby bottle program. Many churches were closed this past spring. Many of them are just getting reopened and trying to set up new protocols. I have spoken in a couple of them. And hopefully tonight we'll have a huge, huge night for people giving and wanting to support us that will keep us going into 2021 and long beyond. We have a wonderful couple who for the last three years wanted to do something special. And so what they did, what we decided to do, they said for every baby that somebody saves, they will match that amount up to 100 babies saved. Now for those of you who have never heard me speak or have never been to one of our banquets, you may wonder, well, what do you mean? How much does it cost to save a baby? $1,200, $1,200 to save a baby. So what this couple has done is they said, anybody who saves a baby, any individual or couple who donates $1,200 to save a baby, we will match that. So in essence, rather than saving one baby, these individuals and couples are saving two babies from abortion. How awesome is that? So we're hoping and praying that many of you 
a hundred or even over a hundred, but at least a hundred people will say, we can give $1,200. And whether that's by sending a check for $1,200 or doing $100 a month for 12 months or sending $300 every quarter, whatever, it all counts. As long as the total between now and next year, your gift is $1,200. If you can't do that, we understand. There's some people that $10 is the best they can do. That's all we've ever asked you to do. That's all God wants you to do. Do the very best you can. And if $10 is the best you can do, you send $10. But if you can do $10,000, we hope you'll do $10,000. Because our goal is hopefully to raise about $350,000 this year. Last year we raised $340,000. Can you raise the same amount or more online the next year? We're praying and believing God's going to make that happen, and you're the ones that can help that happen. One favor that I do ask of you. When you're done watching this video tonight, we ask that you think of brothers, sisters, neighbors, co-workers, people you go to church with, friends, anybody that you could say, you know what, I think they would be interested in what the Clarity Clinic does. And then email them or call them, give them the link, so they can go on our link, whether it's on Facebook or wherever they're able to watch it, and they can watch this video. But we need you. What I'm asking you is to come up with three to five people who might not be supporters of the clinic, who are pro-life, who you think would be interested in supporting the clinic. Get them this link so they can watch it and they too can give. The last thing is please pray about what the Lord wants you to give. We do that every year at the banquet. I want you to do that as soon as this video is over in a few minutes. I ask that you sit down if you're by yourself or if you're with your spouse, hold hands and pray, what would the Lord have us give? Can you save a baby? We hope you can because in saving a baby, you're actually saving two with a matching grant. What's the best you can do? If the best you can do is $10, give $10. If the best you can do is $5,000, give $5,000. You're being a voice for the voiceless, a hope for the hopeless. So we pray that you'll step up and make that happen. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the pledge card that you'll be filling out. If you're on our newsletter list, you got a pledge card in the mail. So I ask that you take time to fill that out. You're going to see a picture of it up on your screen. I just want to explain each line quickly so that you fill it out correctly. If you just want to give a gift for tonight, so let's just say you're like, let's send them a check for $1,200 and save a baby, when in essence you're saving two, or let's send them a check for $100 or whatever. You can just check that top line, write out the check, put it in the envelope that you got sent to you with the pledge card and send it in. Done. All right. Some people want to give $1,200, but they're like, we can't send it all at one time. So then you do the second line. You can fill that out and says our, our one-time gift is $1,200. Enclosed is $200 of that. Send a check for $200. Bill us for the rest monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, however you want it done. Because maybe then if you send $200, you still owe $1,000. You could send $250 each quarter for the next, uh, over the next year and you'll have your $1,200 paid off. You would fill out the second line. The third line is a real important one. Monthly giver. Monthly giving sustains us throughout the year. So you might say, you know what, let's give them a gift for tonight. This was really nice. And you might send a check for $500. And then you're going to say, we're also going to give you $100 per month for a year. So that starts in November. We'll run through next October. That $100 a month for 12 months is $1,200. You not say, only save one baby, you save two babies. So if that works for you, that'd be great. $50 a month, $100 a month. We have... People, they give $1,000 a month. What a blessing. Now, the fourth one is for those who are already monthly givers. We have about 100 monthly givers already. We want to increase that. If you're a monthly giver, you already give us, let's say, $100 a month. You just want to uh, continue to do that. You just fill out that fourth one. Continue to, we'll continue to do another year at $100 a month. Fill in the $100. Maybe you can increase to $150 or $120. Then Circle the increase and do that. If you have to decrease because things are a little bit more difficult for you, you have to go from 100 down to 75 or 50 down to 25, then you can do that there. And the last one is being a table host. Would you be willing to invite some people to come next year to our banquet at the Grand River Center and 
That's what's called a table host. You try to fill a table with 10 people. If you're willing to do that, put an X down there. If you want to find out more about it, I'll be able to contact you next year. We'll talk about you being a table host. Now, if you flip your pledge card over, everything's pretty simple there. At the top, if you're going to pay by credit card, if you're going to do a monthly credit card or you're going to send a check and you're going to use credit card, just put which credit card, Visa, MasterCard, or you can put other if it's Discover or whatever. Put your credit card numbers right there on the line. Make sure you have the expiration date. We do not need the three-digit code on the back. Also, if you are going to do EFT, so if you can do it out of your checking account, then you will do that by sending us a voided check. Or if you're going to send part of your pledge or a one-time gift, or maybe you're, you want your gift to be uh, over, you want to do it quarterly or whatever, and you want to do it by check, just fill out the EFT and send us a check so I have the routing number and the bank account at the bottom. All right. And also I need to know if you want the, the monthly pledge taken out the 5th of the month or the 20th of the month. So just check one of those two boxes. If you don't check either of those, I'll just pick one, which you're telling me it doesn't make any difference. And then of course we have the matching funds. If you've got work for a company that does matching funds, let us know that, mark that there, whether it's John Deere or Alliant, whatever, and I'll make sure that uh, I contact you and if I have to do any paperwork or whatever, I'd be happy to fill that out so we can get the matching funds. At the bottom, we need your name, we need your address, we need your phone number, we need your email. That's important. If all that information is on your check that you're sending in, then you don't have to fill it out, but probably your email because most people don't put their email on their checks. Uh, some people don't put their phone numbers, but we need that information. Okay, and if you have anything you want me to know, just put it in the notes section. You know, I'd like to volunteer, call me, or call me about credit card information, or anything that you think we need to know, you can put that in the notes section. And of course, our address is there too. For those of you who did not get a pledge card, if you had a friend that sent you this link or whatever, and you're watching it and you want to donate, you can see our address is on the screen. So we just ask that you write down that address and um, send us your donation in the check. If there's anything I need to know, just put it right in the envelope. Again, people, if you have any questions, uh, our phone number is there, 563-557-3123, call. Uh, but we're just believing that God's going to move all over this place, all over your home, all over your heart, to continue to do what we have to do, even though we're meeting virtually this year. Uh, I promise you, my dear people, I promise you on behalf of our board and our staff that if you do the very best you can to help us, if you'll be a voice for the voiceless, a hope for the hopeless, I promise you in return that we will not quit. We will not stop. We will not give up until every single one of God's precious unborn children are protected in the womb. We want to thank you so much for joining us this evening. Again, let other people know about this link. Have them tune into it. We hope we get thousands of likes on Facebook, and we just pray that we can reach our goal of $360,000. We thank you for joining us this evening. We ask that God bless you and keep you, and that His face shines upon you and be gracious to you and gives you His peace. Have a great night. God bless you, and thank you for your wonderful support.